Well guys, this is RV Solar on the road, Homesteader. We just got a couple of bikes, our new little toys. They're 48 volt at 500 watts, folding. They, they uh, fold up right in the middle. Put them together, worked out really well. Put air in it one tire, the first one. And I parked it over here where it sits, and uh, the tire blew. It's uh, five pounds to or five psi to twenty or thirty psi. We put twenty five in, thinking, okay, we'll be safe. And uh, rolled it over here. And by the time I rolled it over here, we went to the other bike it, to put air in it, and it exploded. So far, the other one is, I rode it for a little bit. It seems to be nice. And we put less air. We only put 20 pounds, <laughs> playing it safe. But here's a little sign of what our view is in beautiful Arizona. No, California. Sorry, we're in California. But you're looking at Arizona. I will give you a little uh, view of the solar, just so I'll just hang on. Uh, solar seems to be doing really good. Lots of sun. I know the batteries say 11.6, but I've got it underrated on the charge controller, so the voltage is actually 12.1 on my inverter. That's what it says, so that's the number I go by. I've got the Weiss machine working. That's just a power hog. 650 to 700 watts constant. Nice little spin around here and we'll go out in the back deck. Oh, cat screens in a way. And yes, we had a little damage with the truck. <laughs> uh, the fifth wheel decided it was slipping out of the kingpin. And when that happens, it does a nice hell of a job to a tailgate. But we're getting that all fixed up. I'm going to get one of those brute V-shaped toolboxes that sit in the back. Extra space, extra storage. I'll have a video of that one later on.